Hello everyone and welcome back to another Near World video. I'm here today to talk about the Warhammer, which is the two-hand mace or two-hand hammer in Near World. It's an amazing weapon, I really like it. It's probably going to be one of my main weapons when the game is releasing. I'm personally going to build going with a Paladin build, where you go with a Life Staff and a Warhammer. Um, it's pretty fun, but let's go directly to it. So the reason why I made this video is to tell everyone about the Warhammer, like what is the spells you can get on it? Like, why do you have to choose which of the spells and the passives and like all the talent trees? I'm basically here to give you the beginner's guide of the Warhammer. Like, what is it? What can it do? And what can you use it for? Like, you know, like spells and active spells. So let's go to the first part, which is the talent trees with the weapon masteries. You have the Warhammer here. You have two specs. You have the Juggernaut and you have the Growl Crusher. The Juggernaut in my world is a bit more... Um, a purely damage build, mostly centered about single target damage. And you have the crowd crusher, which is a bit more um, AOE damage, but also crowd controlling and also tanking in my world. Like, because you have this one here, reduces stamina consumption by 30% when blocking melee attacks. So this is like a tank, crowd control, AOE damage build, where Juggernaut is more about killing a single target, but you really want him to be killed. Um, to get more damage, as the Warhammer, you basically have to go in the stat called Strength. Because Strength is the main attribute on the Warhammer. So for dealing the most damage on your Warhammer, you basically want to go with your attributes all the way up in Strength. Of course, it can depend on what build you want to do. But going up in Strength is increasing the damage. As you can, for example, see here. If I go full up in Strength here, you can see it will go from 173 to 218. Keep in mind, you can get gems that changes to so get more points from other weapons, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're about, here to talk about the basics of the weapon. So basically, I'm going to go full in strength, so now it deals 218% damage. It's important to know what your weapon damage is because your spells is depending on how much weapon damage you do, since it will deal the percentage of the weapon damage. So let's go back to the weapon mastery, going into the Warhammer, and let's start with the Juggernaut. The first thing we're going to go, go through in this video is uh, basically the active spells, like the active spells you're using in combat, and then we're going to go through the passives after that. But in the Juggernaut build, you basically have Armor Breaker, Mighty Gavel, and the Wrecking Ball. Mighty Breaker is a powerful swing that penetrates 35% of the target's armor and deal 140% weapon damage. Basically, we could test it on this zombie over here by pressing the Q ability. Do you see? It deals a lot of damage and it like ignores 35% of the armor and deals 140% weapon damage. Let's try it one more on this dummy. Let's go. Boom. It's, it's a great killing spell and, and, and you know, deals a lot of damage. It, it's pretty strong. There we go. Then we have the next one, which is the Mighty Gavel, an overhead leaping attack that crushes down on enemies and dealing 160% weapon damage. So basically, you're like jumping a bit up in the air, like standing one foot, and you crush down and it deals 100%, 160% of your weapon damage. And again, that's why I said this is important how much weapon damage you have, because that is depending on the percentage here. So, of course, what you see here is 100% of your weapon damage. That is 100% of your weapon damage. So, when it's, it's, when it's like, uh, like this, 160%, it is like, you know what the percentage means. So, you're going to deal more damage than it says here. It's pretty cool. It's, it's a great way on how to, instead of they just put out random numbers, it, they actually like tell you what percentage. It's pretty cool. Um, we don't have a dummy yet to test it, but you can see the spell like here. Just like going up at the air, crushing down. The last one is the Wrecking Ball. Strike the ground around a target with a hammer and deal 100%, 120% weapon damage and flattening enemy. So basically you can see here, F, jumping, and you do a big crush on it. And it actually had a little jump. So basically having a little jump out uh, after the enemy. Let's see if we have like a little dummy down here we can test it on. There we go. 
So in this case, we're going to test first the Mighty Gavel, which deals 160% damage, and then after the Wrecking Ball, which deals 100% and 120, and it's flattering. Uh, what was it? Flattening? Flattening the, the whip. So let's start, start with 160%. Boom. And now let's try the F spell. Boom. It's basically made him lie down for a moment. And then we have the Q spell, which just deals insane damage. So you can see all the spells is a lot about focusing on killing the target which is in front of me. Like it's very focusing on just like getting him down. A heavy deal. Like a, a lot of heavy damage on one time. Let's take the loot. So what you can probably say is strong single target spell. This one is um I mean, it is a little bit. It, it deals the damage to people in that little spot, so it's not like a big AoE spell, but still, uh, like, crushes. Um, but deals 167 damage, so it's pretty strong. But again, long cooldown, long cooldown, and also long cooldown. So you have, like, three long cooldown. I mean, long and long, but you know what I mean. Um, and you have a little spell here, which doesn't stun the person, but it's, like, flattening them, like, puts them down on the ground. It's a pretty fun concept. Let's try the other build in. That was the Juggernaut. Then we have the Crowd Crusher, which is my favorite. I love this one. We have the Clear Out. We have the Shock Wave and the Path of Destiny. Clear Out, a wide swing that knocks enemies back four meters to create distance and deals 115% weapon damage. It is an amazing spell. It's basically swinging you around and it just knocks everyone. Like, I'm pretty sure it's like the only one in front of you, right? Yeah, so like the people like in front of you, you're swinging at, it's like get knocked back. Was it four meters? I think it was four meters. Yeah, four meters back to create some distance. It's is an absolute massive one, and it deals great damage. And you you like you're picking up a break with the enemy, so it's it's pretty good. Like where the hell is all the enemies here? So we can test the spells. There we go. Let's test that little spell. Hey, zombie. So basically, you can see here. Boom. Ah, okay. Of course, it didn't work just as we're testing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Hold on, bro. There we go. Let's try again. Boom. So it like knocks him away for long distance. Let's save these guys so we can like test the spells after I get on them. So that was like the clear out. The next one we're going to talk about is the shockwave, which is a pretty cool spell also. Let's try it on this guy here. Boom. Deals AoE damage and, and actually stuns them. So we have like the swing that's sh like throw them a bit around. And we have the R, which is basically like um, stunning them with a little blow from the from the top and basically stuns them let's try that one more time so you can get like it so here stun deals damage and then let's get him away boom the last one we have is like we have to move so he doesn't kill me the last one we have is the power of destiny which basically creates like a line it's like you have seen it from other games but it basically creates like a line of shooting so you can see it's a very cool spell and deals great damage. So let's try now. Get him away. Stun. Oh, he he dodged that. And heavy attack. Boom. Oh, you want to fight? Okay, let's do an illustration again. Get away. Let's shoot. And let's do a little stun. And heavy attack. And normal attack. I don't think that could be a more better like trying out. So basically, as we have the clear out swings in front of you, swing everyone back four meters, and it deals 115% weapon damage. Then we have the shock wave where you basically jump up in the air, you know, like land at the ground, and deals 80% of your weapon damage and stun all. Um, <coughs> stun to all impact the targets for two seconds 
So basically it applies stun uh, to all enemies who are like attacked by the spell for two seconds. So basically two seconds they will be like, uh... and then if you give it a taunt gem, like if you put a taunt gem inside the weapon, it's basically gonna, um, this ability cause a six second taunt when it hits. And basically taunt, it's like a tank spell. So if you put a taunt uh, gem inside it, this spell is then gonna taunt all the enemies it attacks. So it forces all the enemies to attack you for six seconds. So it's it's a pretty cool thing for tanks. And then we have the Path of Destiny, which is a powerful ground, ground strike that erupts a line wave. So you saw like the explosion that was going forward. And it deals 110% weapon damage to all targets in its path. So that was the illustration of the more single target-ish spells here and all the AoE spells over here. I love the Crowd Crusher. It's a fantastic. But of course, for one versus one duel, I probably go Juggernaut. Um, but again, also for tanking, uh, you would need this one here because you need the torn from here. You need the stamina block here. But again, as always, you can mix and match as you want. I could probably like take this one, take that one, take this one, and boom! Now I have mixed my spells and basically running both spells. So again, that's up to you. So that was the intro to the weapon. Um, a quick like reminder is you can highlight over the Warhammer here and it will show you that when you do light attacks, it deals 100% damage. If you do a heavy attack, it deals 130 strike damage. And if you do a charged heavy, it deals 117. So like, that's up to you. Um, <coughs> so let's go through the passive tra talents. And if you're just here to see how the weapon works and seeing the active spells, then it's cool. You can leave the video now. But if you want to see each of the passive spells, how they work, that's what we're going to go through now. And I hope you're going to enjoy it. So let's start first with all the none spells, like all the ones that are not affected by a spell, uh, but more like a passive one. So this one is increased armor penetration by 10% for all Warhammer standard attacks. Cool. Gain in power on heavy attacks, increasing attack damage by 20% for 4 seconds. So basically when you do a heavy attack, you basically deal 20% more damage. I like that. All Warhammer abilities apply exhaust, slow, slowing target stamina re regeneration by 15% for 5 seconds. Mm -hmm. um, on target under 30% HP, increase damage done by heavy attacks by 15 Cooldowns are reduced by 7% with heavy attacks. Hmm. And then power through pain. For one second after taking damage, deal 35% extra damage. For one second after taking damage, deal 35% extra damage. So when you get attacked, you have one second where you can really like push back. That's fun. Okay, I like that. So let's now go through the spells upgrades. So basically we have the armor breaker here. So you can upgrade it. So add, add grit to the attack, making the attack unstoppable. So basically you cannot be stopped or like pushed while doing this spell. Cool. Armor breaker grants the target rent, reducing damage absorption by 15% for 10 seconds. Cool. Increase armor breaker damage by 15 against target with full health. So like the first, like the opener is going to be pretty strong with this one. Okay, so then we have the Mighty Gavel. So basically where you just like crushed the enemy with 160% weapon damage. <clears throat> On targets under 30% health, increase damage done by Mighty Gavel attack by 20%. So basically like a little like, executor. That's pretty cool. Increase damage done. Increased, increased stamina damage done by Mighty Gavel attack by 25%. Increased stamina damage done by Mighty Gavel attack by 25%. Stamina damage done. I'm not quite sure what they mean by that since... Yeah, not 100% not understand that one. Maybe you know that. After a successful Might Gavel attack, gain haste, increasing player movement speed by 30% for 3 seconds. So basically, it makes you faster. And then the ultimate for this build, this one, is connected to Mighty Gavel. Um, press basic attack during Mighty Gavel 
to add a second attack that deals 200% weapon damage. Ouch. Ouch. That, that's, that's pretty strong. Okay. That, I like that. So basically, it's a double attack now. Hmm. Okay. Um, I actually think I forgot these two. Gain in power on heavy attacks increases damage done by 20% for 4 seconds. No, I think we got we did that one. So when you deal when you do that heavy damage, heavy attacks, you basically deal 20% more damage. And uh, I think we just forgot this one here. Adds grid to hammer heavy attacks and grant a 20% damage reduction while the heavy attack grid is active. Grid is added stagger resistance that stops attack from being interrupted by reactions. So all your heavy attacks is really doing some additional stuffs. I like that. Then we have the Wrecking Ball. Strike the ground around a target with hammer. Well, we, we know the spell, but Wrecking Ball. On a so we can upgrade the first one. On a successful hit, player obtain 45, granting 20% damage resistance by four, for 4 seconds. Okay, a bit defense-ish. And then there's one. All target within 1.5 meter of target hit also. Oh, so because this one... When it hits an enemy, they get flattening, like they lie down. But this one is now all targets within 1.5 meters of the target hit are also flattened. It. So basically, it's gonna like stun down all the enemies in 1.5 meters around it. I like that. Pretty cool. Then we have the crowd crusher. Let's start with the passives, uh, which is not skill depending. And then we're gonna go through the skill upgrades. <clears throat> Increase damage absorption by 10% if surrounded by two or more enemies within 3 meters. Cool, so really tangy. Reduce stamina consumption by 30% when blocking melee attacks. I like that. After hitting a target with an active debuff, obtain haste increasing movement speed by 15% for 3 seconds. After two light attacks with the Warhammer, uh, debuff durations on player are reduced by 25, can only trigger once every 5 seconds. <clears throat> Reduce damage taken by 10% while sprinting. That's funny. Reduce Warhammer cooldowns by 7% when using light attacks against target with an active debuff. With an active debuff. Plus 15% damage against target affected by Warhammer debuff bu debuffs. Okay. Okay. Regain 35% of damage dealt as health when using Crowd Crusher abilities. Regain 35% of damage dealt as health when using Crowd Crusher abilities. What? So every time you use one of these abilities, if you have all these three abilities, you're gonna heal 35% of the damage you dealt. Oh my god, so it's like self-heal, self-heal, self heal, self Oh my god. That oh I'm gonna I'm gonna play this build so much. So freaking much. I I I just love it. Okay, so let's go through the, the spell upgrades. So first we have the clear out spell, which basically swings and stun uh, sorry, smashes people back. Uh, hitting a target with clear out grants 45, providing 10% defense bonus for four seconds to all friendlies within six meters. Okay. Clear out cooldown is reduced by 5% per enemy hit with the ability. Cool. Using clear out on a target grants haste, increase movement speed by 30% for 3 seconds. Then we have the shockwave, which basically stuns everyone. It hits or it can also taunt, taunt if you have a gym. The trauma of the attack cause weaken, decreasing the damage deal from target's attack by 10%. Um, from tax attack by 10% for 10 seconds. So basically this is the this is one of the debuff. So that basically means every time you use this one shockwave on enemies, you're gonna debuff them for 10 seconds. I'm pretty sure that's a that's a debuff. And that's why this spell, for example, works. Okay. Expands the effective range of the shockwave to four meter. So basically this one is only working on three meter, but now it's four meter. I like that. Then we have the Path of Destiny where we basically shoot, shoot in through like a... I would probably call that a shockwave. Um, Path of Destiny now staggers 
all targets in its path. Staggers. Is that like stacking them? Not sure what staggers is, but okay. Ability cooldowns reduced by 5 seconds for each enemy hit with powerful destiny. That's cool. And then the ultimate, Aftershock. Whenever a target is affected by a crowd control effect, they are slowed by 20% for 4 seconds. Okay, not so impressive, but I guess that's something. And then again, remember that the default, the the Warhammer is dealing more damage when you're getting strength, but you can also get gems, which changes the conversion. So for example, that if you go up in focus, it will increase the damage, but you know, stuff like that. But that's that's for a more advanced guide. But that is basically the Warhammer, um, which is probably the weapon I'm gonna go into main uh, once New World releases with a live stuff on the back also. So thanks for watching. This was a, a short video on how the Warhammer works in New World, the talent trees and so on. So pretty cool spec, I would probably admit. Thanks for watching, enjoy the game and see you on the August 31 once the game goes live. Thanks for watching, bye. Thank <laughs> you.